Hi being beautiful, so welcome to another video. In this video I am going to show you guys how I put tips on my practice hand. Um, yeah, because I don't can if I can't uh, put acrylic on my own nails, I have to use my practice hand. Um, this practice hand comes with these kind of nails. You can just pop them in. Um, I recently bought some new um, nails for this hand on AliExpress, and when I get them, I will let you guys know. Um, I put my nails in this. Uh, container thing um, and you will have two sizes you have a smaller one and a bigger one and the small one is for just the, uh, all the fingers except for the thumb the thumb uh, gets the bigger nail if you don't like the bigger nail you can use a smaller nail but yeah the bigger nail is uh, for your thumb So these are some tips I have. These are square white tips um, or white, white slash natural looking. Um, these are perfect for square nails, tapered square. Um, you can actually make, make uh, every kind of nail uh, you want to make. Then you have um, or I have more uh, tips. These are from Glitter Bells. They are the extra long stiletto nails. Um, and these are uh, see-through. They are also jelly-like. And you can see you have some numbers on the lid of the um, container they uh, come in. And the higher the number, the smaller the nail. So if you have a size zero, you have a very big tip. And if you have a size 10, then the tip is a very small one. So you can see they are uh, see-through and um, yeah, they are very different. <laughs> So you also have um, tips with uh, different kind of prints on them, like these Panther prints. And you also have tips with glitter on, on them. And you can use these tips if you uh, are struggling with nail designs or just uh, if you want to be quicker with um, creating beautiful nails you can put on these tips and you can make a kind of ombre uh, effect or um, maybe just make a nail bed and feather it out uh, over the nail tip um, yeah I am going to show you one more uh, nail tip and I'm going to use one of these weird looking ones just because it's fun and because I can. <laughs> so to put on the tips you need some nail glue and I got some nail glue from Na Fabrik and some nail glue from AliExpress. You can use every type of nail glue you just have to see what works the best for you um, and for me these two are just working fine um, i am going to use this trade edge uh, nail clipper to clip off the length of the nails because these practice nails are long and i want to um, make sure that the tips are um, fitting on the nail uh, properly um, by yeah, just by clipping off the um, length of the nail. And 
it doesn't need to be perfect just clip the nail off um, you can file them into shape however you want to um, fit the tip properly um, probably properly <laughs> on the um, fake nail so next we are going to use this the standing band uh, 180 grit um, for uh, removing the shine of the nail or actually I am going to I think I am going to use the 120 grit um, so I'm going to show you guys the difference between 180 and the 120 uh, grit the 180 is finer so that's this one and the other one is the 120 grit Wait, yeah, the first one is the 180, the second one is the 120 grit. Um, and the 180 grit you can use on the natural nail of a real person, but because these are fake nails, I am going to use the 120 grit because, yeah, I bought the wrong ones. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have to use them somewhere. So, um, you can put it on your mandrel bit just like I just show you just uh, uh, put it on and just on a low speed I think I got the drill on 4000 rpm between 4000 and 5000 rpm and I'm going to remove the surface shine with this and um, file the nail a little bit better in shape um, if needed um, like I said before it doesn't need to be uh, perfect So I just uh, finished uh, removing all the surface shine and this is how they look and like I said before it doesn't need to be perfect uh, especially because this is a practice hand. Um, so I decided to use the gold uh, orange glitter tips um, and like I also said before because I can. Um, most of the time with my practice hand I use the sizes 2 and uh, the sizes 3. Um, they, most of the time they fit um, better than all the other sizes. Um, but you have to uh, see for yourself uh, what sizes of tips fit, uh, fits your practice hand the best. So uh, you can see that the tip is a little bit big um, and they, that they are overlapping the sides um, and that's okay. It's better that the tip is bigger than smaller because if you have a smaller tip and you are putting it on the nail, if it's a practice hand or a natural nail, um, you have to really push it down and like you can like you can see there's a gap and if you push it down um, uh, the tip can just bounce back up and that's why you uh, it's better that you use a bigger tip uh, because they are not uh, likely going to bounce up um, even when you put glue on the smaller tip can uh, can um, bounce off the nail. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense. <laughs> I hope I do. I hope you guys understand. So um, yeah, like y y you can see uh, that the tip uh, fits perfect um, or perfect. It's a little bit bigger, but like I said before, again, uh, it's better that the tip is bigger. So for the four fingers, I am going to use a size two. Um, and for the thumb, I am going, going to use a size uh, one. Because like I said before, the lower the number, the bigger the tip, and the higher the number, the smaller the tip. So I am going to use uh, the Nagelfabriek nail glue um, because yeah that one works uh, good 
um, and it really doesn't matter that much. Um, so I'm going to use my mandrel bit again and just um, file the inside of the tip to um, make sure that the glue um, or that the tip is adhering to the nail better. So the next step is to put a little bit of the nail glue. Don't put too much on it because then the nail glue doesn't work that effective. When you just put a thin layer, just like gel polish, put a thin layer on it. Then um, make sure the nail is straight and put it on the uh, nail. Or not that the nail is straight, but that the tip is straight and you don't have a weird looking wonky as nail. Put a little bit of pressure on the tip uh, where you glued it on the nail and hold it for uh, a little bit. And if you think it's not sticking uh, enough to the nail, just hold it a little bit longer. I went ahead and put all the tips on the hand to make sure that the video isn't going to be too long and this is how they look. Um, they are very curved, the nails, um, because the tips were a little bit curved, but that's okay. So when you want to um, make your nails in a certain um, shape, you can use the straight edge. A straight edge nail clipper or the tip cutters. Um, the tip cutters are especially for the length of the nails and the straight edge nail clipper is for clipping the edges of the nail to make a coffin shape for example. And the scissor, the little scissors I showed you, you can also use to cut the edges of the nail but for this one I use the straight edge nail clipper and I am going to show you one or two nails done uh, like this um, so the video isn't going to be too long. So I am going to do a coffin shape uh, or tapered square whatever you like to call it. Um, and that's why I am cutting off the edges of the nail so it saves me some time uh, with the file. going in with the hand file you can use a 180 grid or 120 grid with tips it doesn't really matter um, uh, so I am making sure that the shape is perfect just the way I want it to be you can also um, make or file the shape with your electric file with your mandrel bit or a other bit it's just what you prefer and I prefer to first use my hand file and maybe later switch over to my electric file and that's what I'm going to do right now. So again I am going to show you guys one or two nails being done to make sure that the video isn't going to be too long.
so this is how the nails look after filing and what I like to do is to flip over the hand to see the nails uh, in client's view and file the um, ends of the nails uh, just like I am going to show you uh, in a minute to make sure that the nails are straight and that when the client is looking to their own nails that they also see a straight nail. So this is the end result, um, just brush off the excess dust and then you are good to go to use acrylic or gel or whatever you want. So guys this was the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys learned something. Um, please. Hit that bell and subscribe and comment down below, share and go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is being multiful um, and I hope to see you guys the next time. See you later. Bye.